Testing. Check one, check one, two. Give me a bed, boys. Now here's a story about a man who thought he was bigger than Florida. But when you go that big, you fall even harder. It's about a tire fire, and his name is Urban Meyer. A Hail Mary hire for a town called Duval. It's said to be the man who'd fuck the ball. Shaq Khan out here seeing stars. Urban's coming to be Jacksonville Sar, bringing in his assistants and guys to soothe the hidden lies of their strength coach, Chris Doyle. Too bad he was a massive racist. Oopsie. His plan foiled. Forced to resign a day later, the master plan of Urban's design shit hits the fan. Enter draft time, his legend would grow with players that he would sow. He got Lawrence a generational power, and ETN a third down back and burgeoning flower? Until he was kissed by an injury named Liss Frank. A tough loss his career potentially in the tank. Now all that hubbub is a bunch of baloney. He really wanted Kadarius Tony. Fine for OTA violations and player safety? Bullshit, Myers above the law, the NFL's a Pharisee. But look to the light, a magical sight. In comes Tim Tebow descending from the Mets. A tight end in more ways than one, he's only the best. And holy fucking shit, he's awful! Get him out of here, maybe next time we'll try to be subtle! Not when talking about making cuts, considering fact status. Big no-no, buddy, can't say the quiet parts out loud, it makes things muddy. The cravings are a lust for control. A love of all things him, and making his players bow down to Urban's cajole. Perhaps if the team didn't suck, it could've worked. The no one four start is bleak, but Meyer has his perks. Fly back home with the team, fuck that. He's got family and friends in Ohio to chew the fat. A Sigma like him cares not for rules. Flirt with co-eds he knows from his schools. Teaching girls about zone coverage is only the best. He pretends to want prevent when he really wants hard press. Dumbass didn't really believe this would get out. Think, man, think. Dude, where the hell are those fingers going? Right in the stink? You ain't in Gainesville anymore, Irby boy. You're not God in the NFL, this ain't your toy. The losses pile up with two random wins against the Bills and the Dolphins? The deception continues with James Robinson. Thousand yard rusher not in the dictatorship of Urban. Ruin him, stunt him, destroy him with haste. Bench him so hard he'll turn into horse paste. Trevor Lawrence? Yeah, you seriously expect him to survive? He's going to rot, fester, and die alive. Don't you dare ask him who's playing for his team. That's irrelevant to him, he's got bigger dreams. Remember, Urban's the winner every time. His assistants are losers and pathetic slime. Two and 11 is irrelevant. Meyer is heaven sent. Coaches must prove their worth to him. Receivers walk out and argue with him on a whim. Seriously believe he's being mean, dude had a better staff at Bowling Green. Whistleblowers? On his staff? They'll be out of a job, he gets the last laugh. Not bad enough yet? Here's the kicker. Josh Lambeau makes the legacy even sicker. Hey fucker, make your kicks, he utters to his stretching player. A swift blow to the leg, professionalism right into a flare. Urban doesn't care, Lambeau's leg is weak and gaunt. I'm the head ball coach. I'll kick you whenever the fuck I want. So will Shah Khan, didn't you know? Your tenure has been a disaster full of ego and woe. Too bad for you, Khan's got a golden boot. Kick to the curb in week 15. Is that a fucking moot? Not even a year after hiring him, what does Jacksonville get? Ruined prospects, destroyed careers, and money burned in regret. A culture of fear, dysfunction, and misery. Kind of the same things you said on TV, now that's irony. Don't you worry, he never took the blame for anything. That's on those beneath him to feel the sting. Foolish decision you see though? Only the second coming of Bobby Petrino. He still won more in the NFL than Urban, the fucker. Maybe that'll make the coeds pucker. And all that's left is a reputation set on fire. A man hung as a liar. You can sing it to the choir. Urban turned Jacksonville into Bourbon Meyer. She seems to be about the right thing, so... You know, it's not your time as a coach or player to really give an opinion about something as serious as pandemic and medical causation. I'm hearing those words of litigation and, you know, future issues. So you just got to trust that the people care and love you and uh, go about your business and train as hard as you can. If there's a season, there is. If not, and you're a senior and get ready for the NFL, you got to do that too. So, you know, we live under the world of E plus R equals O, and that means you can't control events in your life. You can 
control how you respond. Respond positively and move forward. Yeah, so what would be, as a coach, give us a sense of kind of what that next step is. I know you talk a ton about 